Welcome to Max's Garage, my home. We got a package in earlier. And let's see who it's from here. It is from Juan Nian Store, 172 Trade Street, Lexington, Kentucky. So, let's see what it is. I bought so many things the last few days that we'll just have to open this up and see which one it's from. Or not where it's from, but what it is. And it is a Wani action camera. It's packaged well from Amazon. They were the fulfillment center on this. And uh, this box feels good. It's good and tight. It doesn't rattle. And let's see what the contents are here. It's got a nice little carry bag. Pretty nice looking little deal. It's engraved or not engraved, but it has their name on it real nicely. And let's see. Let's open it up. Take a look at the contents here. Alright. Well, check this out. It does have a 30 meter waterproof case. Looks really nice. A good fit. Buttons feel good. Let's see what else is in the bag here. There's one battery. There are some tripod mounts, and you use a monopod and all kinds of things. Some helmet mounts. One battery. There is. A little folding mount here. All kinds of accessories. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Oh, it even comes with a some zip ties, a little metal cable. I guess it's for safety in case you knock it off or whatever you're moving it with, hauling it around. It's got a cleaning, one of those uh, nice cleaning rags. It's got a spare rear cover for the camera. It also has an extra front plate if you want to change the colors from black to red. And again, the name's on it real nicely. It's 4K. And we'll test to make sure it is 4K. Oh, let's see. Also has a white cover in case you'd like to have white on it. Has a warranty card. Several Velcro straps with uh, little lockdowns on. USB to mini USB charging port or cable, or to transfer your files with if you prefer. Ah. Remote control that you can put on your belt or on your wrist. I assume that's probably what this is for right here, it looks like. And let's see here. Uh, user manual. Probably a good idea to read that. And let's see. This is something I use a lot with my original camera. And that's a... Uh, this mount to me is more useful because I use this a lot. Matter of fact, here sits one right now. It's not turned on. This is another 4K action camera. What we're going to do is we're going to test one against the other as well and give you an idea of what we think is doing the best job. And there's nothing wrong with that one. It works great. But I thought it'd be a good idea to have two or more. So uh, we'll find out how that's going to work out for me. <laughs> Eh, probably making myself a big mess with that. Alright. And I'm never good at getting into these right here, by the way. But, we'll get into this one pretty quickly. Well, it's got a good tight fit. So it probably would be waterproof. Alright. Now this one already has a battery, looks like, in it. Yes, it does. wonder if it has any charge. We'll see. I 
also wonder if these batteries will interchange. But talking about this mount right here, let me pop this camera out. And I'll show you why I like these. is because it has a top and bottom um, quarter inch threaded, quarter, quarter twenty thread. And I use this on tripods and helmet mounts and all kinds of things. So it's pretty handy. It's handy on that little mount right there. And um, like I said, that that comes in very, very handy. And I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's weigh these things relative to each other as well. So let me throw some of stuff over here in this box. We'll spread all that out a little bit where you can see it. But for the time being, let's move it up here out of the way. Let's get a scale in here. One digital scale. We're going to turn it on. And we're going to turn it to ounces for those in the USA. Okay, there's ounces. This is with the battery in it. First we're going to weigh the Wani. And it weighs 2.05 ounces. Okay. Now we're going to weigh the other brand and it weighs 1.85 ounces. So we're going to look at the width. It's the same. The lens diameter seems to be the same. This one does have, apparently, a little light in the front of it, which that's pretty neat. I, I think we're going to like that. And let's see about the battery ports. The batteries might even interchange. We'll try that later. But let's see. Looks like we're going to have to charge the battery before we can really do much with that. So let's see here. This was always a real pain to get this port open. On the original, I mean really pain. But it can be done as you can see. So let's take the battery out of this, check it against these, and we'll let you know if those interchange stay. And these are out of the Wani is a thousand fifty milliamps. Of course, they're three point seven volts, and it doesn't say what brand it is. So I'll tell you what. Let's take this one and put it in here, and just see if we've got a working camera. How about that? Appears that we do. Okay. Looks pretty good. Let's put a let's go ahead and put the uh, cover back on it. Okay, now then, looking good so far. Now then, we want to get the little video monitor up here. Looks pretty good. Now then, let's see if we can see the menu on this little puppy. And let's see how to do that. Because we're just going to learn this, learn this thing together here. That was on 729. Let's go back. 
1080 P 60 feet per 60 uh, frames per second. There's 16 megapixel. 720p 90 frames per second. All right. So well, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good little camera as far as the menu goes and giving us choices. So video resolution. Okay, so we're going to go, we don't want to go 60 frames, we want to record sound, so let's go down to 1080, 30 frames per second, let's go look at 4K real quick, 4K, 30 frames, that's what it says, tell you what, let's just give it sucker a shot, we want to record sound. We don't want to do time lapse yet. We don't want to do loop recording. Uh, slow motion. I'm already in slow motion, so you don't want to see that. Okay, we'll try that anyway later. We'll try all the all the various settings on this thing. And okay, there we go. Now let's go to the next thing. And photo resolution. Let's go to. Oh, let's turn on Wi Fi. Okay. Date and time. Let's see, we got it set for English. Date and time. It is not 2017. <laughs> I suppose this is not the latest greatest camera after all. But maybe it is. Alright. There's 2020. And it is 01. And it is. What is the date, guys? Anybody have the date today? You know, when you get old, fat, and ugly, and retarded, sometimes it's hard to keep up with the date, even though it is my baby sister's birthday, January 16th. Happy birthday, baby sister. So let's go ahead and get this date in here. I'm going to have to dedicate this to my baby sister, Tangie. And time? Did y'all happen to notice what time it was? I didn't. Again, what difference does it make? It's 2.14 p.m. in the afternoon. That's because it's p.m. Alright, so let's do that. Let's go back. Okay, now what format do we want? We want to no detectable TF card. Ha! There you go. Well, let's borrow one out of this one temporarily. Slide it into this one. Alright, there's the card. Now then, format, confirmation will be memory card format. Alright, firmware version. It is version 201.7.0.1.0.2, version 23, updated 20. Well, I, that number don't sound right to me, but anyway, no big deal. So let's come back to K. 
Okay, English. That's good. That's good. Press OK to exit. Alrighty. So, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to set this thing up. We're going to shoot a little bit of video with it. And uh, see how it works. And we're going to also pull this little cover off right here. There you go. There you go. So it's not a bad looking little camera. It's uh, it was like fifty nine dollars, and uh, on Amazon I think it was or let's see, no it was like fifty nine dollars on eBay, and I think I paid on this one. Oh look how pretty it's going to be now without that cover on the back. We paid I believe it was thirty two ninety five with the whole thing which is not bad with two batteries all the um, all the items here and um, that was shipping included and it's um, it's going to be test so let me get this out of the way right here let me get my original camera out of the way over here tell you what we'll stick this battery from the new one in here We'll put this over on the charger, and we'll see about um, we'll see about charging this while we are playing with this other one. Now, the word "play" shouldn't have been used because you know I'm working my tail off out here for these reviews, as you know. I know no one's believing that. Okay. So let's see. It tells us it's charging. The camera came on with that battery, so it tells us we're going to be able to charge that battery. And that's a good thing. So I'm going to turn it off, let it have time to charge. Alright. Now we'll be able to monitor that red light when it turns blue. That battery's ready to go to go in this thing here. So let me get this box out of the way. Back here into the back. And we'll just lay all these pieces out for you real quickly. We've got the case, the uh, unsinkable Molly Brown case. We have the back, the spare back for the case. We have the camera. We have two faces for that. We have a wrist strap, I believe it is. We have all kinds of goodies. Let's get it all out here and spread it out. And the little case, if you ever use this thing, is actually a pretty nice little case, guys. It um, it's a little smaller than the, than the other one I've got. However, I've probably got way too many accessories in there. If you can get too many accessories. And I believe you can because then you stand around and you're trying to figure out how to put all these accessories to work. <laughs> Sometimes you spend more time actually getting this thing put together to operate than in actual operation time. I've gone out and shot a video in three minutes or even five. And I spent an hour and a half, two hours trying to figure out what to put together to make it work. So um, let's go ahead and get everything out of the little bags here. And I know this is taking a lot of time. But I'd rather you see the whole thing. You can cut out what you don't want to watch. And uh, probably been faster just to duplicate it if it wasn't for being an unboxing. Just duplicate what was in the other, throw it out on the counter for you, and you can see what it is. Because this stuff is a little bit time consuming. What you got? One of those. Another battery. You got these. This little mount right here is a great little mount to have because this one has threaded. It's got a brass sleeve in it, threaded sleeve to receive 
to go like on top of a uh, um, like a ball mount, something like that. This can glue on to like a helmet or side of a car or something like that. You got tell you what, I'm gonna set this stuff out. And I'm going to come back after it's all put together because I know you're tired of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Now, I'm going to show you. I borrowed my little tripod stand here. And the one thing I can see about the little camera connection here is this is, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little loose in there, so this one really is not going to be usable. I also was going to use my original on the tripod and just slip the camera in it so you could see this accessory sitting here on the table with it. So I'm going to put the, my original in its stead just so you get a visual for it. And again, here are the accessories. Um, one is this wrist strap with the remote control. One button is for taking a photo. One button is for starting the video. So we're going to do that here shortly. And again we've got the waterproof case, a spare back for it, the tripod mount that you can use for pretty much whatever you can screw that into. And here's something I do like that came with it. My original came with this, did not come with one of these. This would be pretty handy to make a short adjustable whichever direction you needed to swivel this thing. That's going to come in handy. Uh, it comes with a clamp for a rod that's anywhere from half inch to probably inch and a quarter, inch and three eighths maybe. May not go quite that large. It does have a little clamp on that you can put into uh, like a chest mount or on like maybe a ball cap something like that you could put it either way you could put it like this and then um, that would allow you to hang the camera down in so you have the POV type thing so uh, tell you what let's start let's push the gray button here tell you what let's take a picture first of you guys. Alright. Alright. Says we got a photo. Now then, let's push the video button here. Right here. And it is now, if you can see it, see a little light flashing, a little red light. We are now taking a video of some Max's Garage Mahal items here. And that's the Hustler Motor Owner Group's caps. Some more Max's Garage Mahal. An old Max's Garage Mahal clock there that's not for sale. The warranty card. The user manual. The travel case waterproof mount, the back case, the tripod mount, retainer cable, some zip ties, uh, some glue-on pieces, uh, various swivel mounts here, another helmet or surface mount that you can put this on the dash for your car or something like that, some various straps, the USB, uh, and here's something that, let's see what it says. It says, Thank you for your purchasing, and it's at db at uk. It says, want a Wani selfie stick? Get a free one now. Ha ha. Hey, we can get us a free selfie stick. Share your awesome, really awesome, <laughs> with experience by writing honest Amazon product reviews. Well, we're going to do that, okay. Uh, contact us dv at uk. You know what? I'm going to do that. Why not? And um, we're going to go ahead and test this thing. We'll try to upload this video. 
that you're going to see right here. And uh, we'll see what it looks like when we put it in the uh, in the computer. And uh, let me do one more thing. Hey, that way you get an idea of how shaky that can be. All right, so that's what I've got right now. We'll get an idea of the photo. And let's shut this thing off. All right, let me hit the video button. See if you can see that. And it has stopped. That's working perfect. Okay, one more thing. Let's get us a photo of the same thing you're seeing there. Uh, not a video, photo. Sorry about that. And let's come on back here from above. Get another one. I'm going to get part of the, the camera monitor in there so you can see that you're getting it just like. Okay. Alrighty, so we'll get this put up and I'll, uh, I'll get some more tests on this to add to this film. And uh, hopefully you'll get an idea how well this thing works. If it works one tenth as well as the old original that I've beat up and used on the lawnmower and the motorcycle and the cars and I put it in places it didn't belong under the lawnmower with it running. So, <laughs> we'll be back and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and show you this video now. We'll come back and we'll add to it to give you a second video of how both the photographs and the we're going to give you the photographs we took today but we're going to take some more photographs with it we're going to do like a little blog with the thing and we're going to do some lawnmower testing and things like that just to get an idea how well this thing works and so it'll be two for the price of one review all right we appreciate it very much y'all come back and see me at max's garage mahal we do hope that you'll subscribe hit that like button share and uh, by all means, y'all come back and see me now. Yep.